It looks all big and scary when you're looking at it from the outside, but you learn how to use the tools to help you. Well, there's certainly a great deal of excitement involved in this. Um, for me, it's, uh, it's giving back to the community. We just try to give them a leg up on what it's really like out there, because this is the greatest job in the world. We have a curriculum that we are supposed to deliver, and then we try to add on the real world experiences, the things that we've actually done out in the street. We teach them the basic things that they would need to start on a fire department without any additional training. I think part of it is that we have a lot of useful tools. Part of my instructional process is I teach them a lot of skills. Uh, the book stuff we do in the classroom. All right, listen up. We're gonna do uh, auto extrication today. The job as a firefighter requires a lot of skills. You learn a lot of them on the job, but if you can get the basic foundation, and they have an understanding of what's required of them. I'm a paid on call firefighter for St. Louis Park, and we come here to extend our training just to get the more hands-on things for stuff that we don't do every day, the car extrication, the structure fires. We learn about the tools and what they do. We have to learn all of the, uh, the equipment that's on, all the trucks, we have to learn how they operate, and uh, we have to learn about maintaining those pieces of equipment, and that's all part of our experience here. It's hands-on. It's, it's knowing how to use these tools. It's knowing in the pitch black in the middle of the night that when I grab the regulator on my air pack, I know exactly what button does what. They obviously went over everything in the classroom, but they were just like, all right, this is how you do it, let's go do it. And it's a lot more hands-on than I thought. You don't fight a fire sitting inside just pushing buttons or you're out, and out there doing it and need to know what actually happens. We try to teach them the reality base. This is what's actually really gonna happen on the fire ground and these are some of the problems and things that you're gonna run into. The instructors are great. I think the biggest thing is they let us make our mistakes. To do them in training and learn your mistakes in training, uh, that way you don't do them out, in, out on the field when you're at an emergency. You make a mistake out on the fire ground, you may not come home from it. It makes it so it's kind of second nature when you're in a stressful environment and there's crowds of people. They want to learn them to get that in the training portion of it so that way when they get to an actual emergency, they're, they're cool and calm. I think I am better because of this. It, emphasizes the teamwork, the camaraderie. Anything you've done here is going to prepare you and you're going to be ready to take any exams, you're going to be ready to go to work someplace.